What's up guys, Sam Brezzin here for another video. As usual, I'm here with my wife, Bruna. If you've been watching my channel lately, you know that we are currently in the garage of our new home. I apologize for these dang birds. They will not stop chirping, but don't worry guys. Very soon we're gonna have an AC in here, some new mats, and it's gonna look a lot better and there won't be any background noise. Today's video is about a simple entrance into Cross Ashi from the Butterfly Guard. Uh, this is something that her and I have been working a lot. We've been training a lot at home. Since we bought this house, we bought a little bit of a fixer upper and we've just been consistently working. So my training has been sparse, unfortunately. I plan on being back to regular training by July. You mean like every day, but I've been beating her up on the side. So it's still nice to get my Jiu Jitsu fit. So this is something that I was working on at Bernardo's and that I worked on in the past as a purple, but it's kind of blown up with popularity. So let's see what I'm uh, messing with a lot. So. She's on her knees, let's move just a little bit, yeah. She's on her knees, right? One of my favorite entrances, and I've taught this several times from the butterfly guard to a lot of different things, and my favorite sweeps, is a very simple approach of if we're here hand fighting, right, we're hand fighting, is to just go for the collar tie on the head and the wrist or the elbow and to just butterfly sweep. Oftentimes, right, I can come here, I can fall past her knee, I'm not gonna teach the butterfly sweep, push off my left toes and I can sweep her like so, right? I do that sweep all the time. That's something that I've been working on since I was a blue belt and I hit every single time I roll almost. So what this is, is kind of something off of that, right? Because, and I'm gonna show it slow so you guys can see. Sometimes when we go for this butterfly sweep with a good guy, if they get their hand out or their leg, either one, they'll post their hand and leg, right? If we really go, they'll do this, okay? When they do that, Traditionally, I would go for the X guard by underhooking or the single leg X guard by shooting myself underneath. But since I've been playing with this cross Ashi a lot, what I do is I clamp her leg in an X clamp. So very similar to an X guard, but I'm on the outside of her leg. I switch my grip so that my elbow and my knee have connection here. So I'm almost in a half butterfly guard. So this position is very common to me. Okay, now from here, I'm still gonna dig under her leg, but I'm not really trying to bring her leg up to me. I'm trying to bring myself down, and I'm going to use my elbow under her shoulder and bicep, my hook here, and my other hook clamped, and my knee on the outside of her ribs. Everything to just elevate her over me, like so. Okay, once I elevate her over me, now I'm just gonna shoot my left leg through. So lift, shoot the left leg through, and then I'm just gonna bring her down towards those geese, like so. And now I'm in my cross ashi position, right? I can control this leg, bring it under, and start to go for the leg lace. Or I can use the position, because I've been doing this in the gi and it's legal if you don't attack the leg. I can use the position to grab her pants, grab her collar, and start to extend and get up. My favorite, let's go back, stay, stay down, come back this way. My favorite passing position in the gi, one of them, is these grips, the pants and the collar. And the better you get, the harder it is to get these grips. So if there's any position from guard that's gonna lead me directly into these grips, you better believe I'm gonna try to capitalize on it. So let's look at all this again. And this is a more advanced technique. So I'm here and here. And guys, take this with a grain of salt because you could do anything, right? You could go from the underhook and the wrist butterfly sweep. You could go from the collar and the sleeve butterfly sweep. But basically, I just like to enter quickly. So I come here, I try to sweep. I can't sweep her, I get into this position, right? I start to elevate her, okay? Once I elevate her, I extend my left leg. So I lift, extend the left leg. Her leg comes to me, and now I'm gonna bring her down. If you guys have trouble bringing her down, pull her elbow. Okay, I bring her to here. Now I'm in that, you know, cross ashi position. What I've been messing with from here, again, I'm not doing too many leg locks, is to grab the collar, to grab the pants, and I'm gonna use my right leg to extend her, to pull my left leg out, and then I'm gonna draw my heel to my butt, and I'm gonna get up. Small mat space, guys, we're working with what we got. So one more time. I'm here and here, and again, you can go from the collar, right? You can do it right from here, extend, come into this position, lift, here, bring her down, and start to get up. Anyways, guys, that's just something I've been working on. I apologize for the background noise. <laughs> we got a guy out here doing his yard, so I know it's not perfect, but hey, you guys have been begging for more videos. I get tons of messages all the time. 
You know, how come you haven't filmed as a black belt? Recently, if you've been watching my channel, I have been, and it's been here. And that's just because I'm at a new gym. I don't feel quite comfortable enough yet to ask them to borrow their space. That's just not something that I would do. So we're working on a home gym again. I'm really excited about these new mats that I'm gonna be getting. I'm gonna be probably partnering with Fuji. It's gonna have the logo on it. Again, AC in here. We're gonna make it look good. Don't worry guys, we're building a studio. I'm also gonna be filming a new instructional that a lot of people have been asking for, which is ankle picks. It's gonna be basic to advanced ankle picks for jujitsu. So I'm super stoked about that. I've been putting a lot of time into that. And like I said, a lot of time into my house. My training's been sparse. I've just been fortunate to be beating her up. I've really just been studying a lot. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited about everything going on. Please hit the little notification bell so you're aware of where I make new videos. And please, if you haven't yet, subscribe, guys. We're on the road to 10,000, and after that, 50. Let's go, baby.